Today is Phoebe's first birthday. You're a year old. <laughs> they grow up so fast. So today is gonna be a full day. What? <sighs> so in this video, we are going to be doing. This is gonna be a joke, right? <laughs> Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be doing a full day of eating. The reason I am wanting to do this video is, the reason I am wanting to do this video is because, why is it? The last two videos I filmed was all about my fitness journey, my health journey, all that kind of good stuff. And I talked about this new program that I'm on and I, believe I briefly mentioned in like the health portion of those videos about a lot of things that I can't eat. No grains, no gluten, no dairy, no soy. I also took a blood test, a food sensitivity test. It's like all this stuff that I'm sensitive to so I can't eat any of that stuff either. And whenever I talk to people about this program, the first thing that everybody asks me is like, well then what do you eat? Which I think is honestly so funny because I think that just like, the human race as a whole is very close-minded as to what food we can eat. Like if you can't put it on bread or like it's not pasta, then like what are you eating? You know what I mean? And I'm about like a month and a half into the program and so at this point, yes, I find it like pretty easy to eat. So I thought I would do kind of a full day of eating just to show you guys like how easy it can be to just eat healthy. I wanna preface this by saying I'm literally the most lazy person ever. I never meal prep my food. I don't hardly ever keep enough groceries on hand to like make really good meals every day. Like I just am not that prepared of a person. I figured I would show you kind of like how I eat easy meals things I keep in the house that like I can always have. And I think these meals, even if I were to go back to like eating dairy and eating bread and eating all this stuff, I think that these meals that we're gonna make today, I made I, this, this video special today because what we're having for dinner tonight is like my favorite meal that we ha I've had since, Phoebe, now is not the time to play with your toys. What we're having for dinner tonight, I think is probably one of my favorite meals that I've had on this program. So that's really why I wanted to film it tonight because I wanted to share that recipe with you guys. So yeah, I'm also purposefully filming this on a day where I'm like working, I'm running late, haven't packed a lunch, like have to eat breakfast. So I can show you like what you can make that's like really quick and easy. What I'm gonna make for lunch isn't the quickie quickiest isn't the quickest and easiest, but it's super filling and it's super, super yummy. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into the kitchen so I can show you what I'm making for, I'm gonna do my lunch first so I can pack it for work and then I'm gonna sit down and have breakfast. Breakfast is super, super easy for me, so let's get going. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. Not clean, it's never clean, so just get used to it, okay? Don't you hate it when you're out of your favorite Tupperware? All right, we are gonna be making a really yummy chicken salad. So I'm just gonna start out with canned chicken. I have Wild Planet. First thing I'm gonna cut up is one little stalk of celery. The next thing I'm gonna cut up is some onion. Oh. I don't know why I think I'm gonna be like filming me chopping up food because I'm literally the worst chopper ever. I get there eventually. Gonna do some cilantro. I absolutely love cilantro so much. I keep seeing this one girl I follow post about, oh, it's really good for helping your liver detox or something and everybody should be eating more cilantro and I'm like, well, I love it, so let me eat more cilantro. So I'm just gonna take like however much that is. One thing I do know is that if you like stack the leaves on top of each other, ooh, my eyes are burning from the onion. Okay, ow, my eyes, ow, 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 oh heck, oh no, 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 oh! 
if you stack all the leaves on top of each other and then you roll them up and then you cut them. Ooh. I'm not good at it, but you know, at least I know kind of. And that's all I put in there for like veggies and stuff. So now obviously, come down here. Obviously with like a chicken salad, tuna salad or whatever you put in, mayo or whatever. Um, so instead of just putting straight mayo, I like to put in half of an avocado for like some of my fats, so. Oh, I just cut that so good. Ah, oh, what an ugly avocado. Let's try to save it. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Better. Not good, but better. Got just a little brown spot right there. No worries. So I just take my avocado and squeeze it on in there. Then we're gonna do some seasonings like salt and pepper and garlic because I love garlic. And here's where I will start putting in my, where's the label? Mayo. The avocado, I'm like almost out. The avocado helps with this part of it, so we're just gonna literally use all that's left and hope for the best. I brought my other mayo up north and left it there, so. Oh my god, I still burn from the onion, oh! I would typically like more mayo, but it's not really an option for me right now. So the avocado is just gonna have to come through for this. Too bad, right? Oh, mmm, doesn't that look so appetizing? Oh my god, Morgan, you should be on Food Network. All right, so this is gonna go in the lunchbox. These are the best dang crackers in the whole entire world. Again, this is something that like, I don't care what I'm eating, like I'm gonna keep eating these. These are so good. So I like to use these to kind of like scoop my chicken salad. I'm gonna put some of these in a little baggie. So I have this like weird thing where I always have to eat fruit after I eat lunch, like especially when I'm at work. I don't know why, I always bring fruit, fruit, fruit? I always bring fruit, always have to eat it. And if it's like one day where I'm like, I don't need to eat fruit after all this food, like I miss it. So I'm just gonna bring some strawberries. And that is gonna be my lunch for the day. Now, I always keep extra snacks in my purse. So, some things I always keep with me is an Epic Bar. If you've never had an Epic Bar before, they're just like a meat bar. This one's like this bacon one, it's so good. And I always have some nuts and some plantain chips that are pretty smashed, but in a pinch. They will do. So these these particular snacks have been in my purse a long time. I don't always eat them, but I have comfort knowing that I have snacks with me at all times. So we're gonna move on to breakfast. So something that I've been having for breakfast a lot lately is this Lava brand of yogurt. Again, the most incredible ingredients out of like any yogurt ever. I would say that the taste is like more sour than I'm used to in most yogurts, but I enjoy it. I don't mind it at all. I think it's super delicious. For protein, I am, I like to keep them, this is like the most awkward angle ever, but I don't have anything better. Hey, get out of my purse. Phoebe's trying to steal the snacks in my purse. I usually keep breakfast sausages on hand. I have not been to the particular grocery store that carries them, so. What I'm gonna do is use this Applegate chicken sausage. I like to keep these on hand too. They're so easy if I run out of things to pack for lunch or they're good for breakfast. This one's like a chicken and apple one, which I think is really yummy for breakfast. I'm just gonna have that with my yogurt and then I might have a banana and then if we'll see how like hungry I am after these two because I like to also dip my banana in peanut butter. Love peanut butter. So. I'm gonna get work on that. And we are back to location one. Now, this is just a super, super easy breakfast. Of course, if you wanna do something more extravagant, you can. I tend to do more on the weekends, 
like eggs and bacon. I got this like pancake mix I'm gonna try. So I'm really excited for that. With every meal, really, I try to get your proteins, your carbs, your fat. How much fat does this have? This doesn't have, well, it has 11 grams. It's not mostly fat, but it's some fat. It's coconut based, coconut cream, which is fat. I have this breakfast like most days and it takes me like a solid 30 seconds to make because I don't really have to do anything with these obviously. And regardless of if I have this sausage or my breakfast sausage that I usually have, the brand is like Pendergast or something. I'll put it on the screen here in case you wanna look for it. You probably just go on their website and see where they have it. Applegate also makes breakfast sausages, but they're frozen and I don't like them as much. I feel like they're kind of hard when you heat them up. Yeah, the only thing that takes time is to heat up the sausage. So that's it for now, folks. I'll see you when I'm home from work. I'll let you know if I end up snacking at all. And yeah. All right, welcome back to my kitchen. We are gonna make dinner. It's like seven o'clock. So we are gonna be making one of like my favorite dinners at the moment. I absolutely love this dinner so much. I think you get that, okay. We're basically gonna be doing like a Mexican kind of bowl. The reason that I love this meal so much, I love it so much probably because it like introduced me to something new and that thing is plantains. I have become obsessed with plantains ever starting this program. Um, I've had plantains in the past, like at Mexican restaurants or whatever, and I've never liked them because I just felt like they were so sweet. I never knew that if you got like green ones that weren't ripe yet and you season them properly, that they would be so, oh, they're so yummy. We are, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my plantains, how I make this like, avocado sauce that I put on it and then like the ground beef parts like super 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 easy so I'm gonna actually start with like my avocado sauce just to kind of like get it out of the way because once I have the plantains cooking like I, I have to act fast you know what I mean so I can't like be doing other stuff so I like to get this out of the way um, and it's super easy you just throw all these ingredients into a blender and I'm actually gonna be using this like how cool is this this is a blender believe it or not. Um, this was actually sent to me and I just think it's like really cool. Like I feel like how easy is it to just like throw crap in here and like take it on the go or if you wanna like travel, if you like a lot of like protein shakes or smoothies or whatever and you wanna like take something with you to travel, it just charges USB. Oh, oh okay, like that. And then it charges. So I think it's really cool. Um, the only beef I have with it is that this thing is like freaking so huge. So when you, like I did this the first couple times I used it, like I fill it up with crap because I'm just so used to doing that with blenders. And then when you put this on, it like all falls out. So it's okay for like making this sauce. I feel like I'm just over here right now like, oh, I make this like really good, like yummy avocado sauce. It's like really fancy. It's not. It's like guacamole in a blender. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys what I do. Like it's super, super easy. Like it does not take long at all. So I had a half of an avocado this morning, right? And so I'm just going to, so I'm just gonna squeeze the half of my avocado in here really is like not a lot of avocado but it's okay i'm just gonna use it just for me so next i was like usually i do two cloves of garlic but i think i do a whole avocado so i think i'm just gonna do one clove of garlic so i mean you know just do whatever you want measure with garlic with your heart but there'll be garlic in other areas of this dish so i guess one clove will be fine and because we're gonna blend it up i can just throw it in but Hashtag not sponsored, not sent to me, unlike the blender. But have you guys ever seen like this thing? You just put the clove in it and like roll it and all the skin comes off. And then I have, and I'm sure this is like not that cool. Everyone's like, yeah, Morgan, like everybody has one of these things. But literally like, I don't know, especially if like you like garlic and like if you don't, then like go away. But like, how do you live without these tools? I don't know, anyways. 
random brand. Next, I'm just gonna throw in some more cilantro because I can't live without cilantro. And like, really, can you have a Mexican dish without cilantro? And then all you do is like put in water so it's more of like a drizzly, saucy consistency as opposed to like chunky guacamole. I thought it was dead. I like to shake it up, just like, I feel like I'm helping along the situation. I don't know if I am or not. And, um, oh, I don't, I, oh, okay, I can't show you. Oh, that has a lot of garlic in for that little bit, which I love it. To be honest with you guys, like, I don't know, like, that the actual blending capabilities of this is, like, that strong, but, like, it does this, like, perfectly. I made smoothies in this and stuff, too. I just think it's, like, really cool for travel. Yeah, they sent it to me, but when they, like, emailed me what they were sending to me, I was like, oh, I love it. Sign me up. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing I'm gonna start is the meat and then I'm gonna do the plantains after that. So, let's crack lacking. So I mean, usually I just do ground beef. I have ground buffalo. It's literally because Whole Food was out of ground beef. I don't know what the difference is. Like I've gotten this, I think one other time and to me it tastes like the freaking same. So whatever. Whole Foods is like, I feel like it's always out of ground beef, so. It's fine. I think I'm gonna like bring you guys back down lower so you can actually See what I'm doing? Not that I'm good at this or it'll be helpful in any sort of way, but you know, it's a full day of eating, so we're gonna cook. I don't always do this because Joey doesn't like onions, but he's not home, so he won't know, and he probably won't watch this video anyway, so he won't know. Um, he's just gonna have the leftovers when he gets home. Do a little drizzle of olive oil. Can we just talk about how this is the only thing that Joey wanted for his birthday. His parents got him a pack of two. It was like $6 off of Amazon and that was the only thing he wanted for his birthday. Which now, again, this is something like, how do people live without this? Like, this is the best thing ever. And you feel so like fancy when you use it. What's that show? It was like a cartoon or something where the parents talk and their heads were always cut off like this. I was going to throw these onions in the pan. Aw, I was ready for it to be like Tss. All right, just gonna open up my meat. Well, I guess I'm gonna wait a little bit for the onions to even start cooking, good God. Ooh, I hear it start to sizzle. Going to open this now. Now that things are finally happening, I'm gonna start seasoning it. So I'll tell you guys what I like to use. Obviously salt and pepper and obviously garlic. And a lot of it, I'm out, so. All right, more garlic. I love cumin, so I'm gonna put a crap ton of cumin in there too, because it's Mexican. Onion powder, just a little dash of chili powder. We're gonna start the plantains over on this side. All right, so over on this side, I'm gonna start up by e heating up my fat that I'm gonna use it in, and I actually use duck fat, which to me was like super weird at first until I started using it and now I love it. So I'm just gonna start heating it. And what I love about it, especially for this application is that it's, oh no, okay. It's very like liquidy. Oh, I don't have a lot left either. So I'm probably just gonna use like, yeah, the rest of it. It's probably still even a little less than I use, but I am trying to use less when I make these plantains because I always end up with like a lot of like extra that I'm just dumping down the sink and it's expensive and I don't want to do that. Okay, so for the plantain, basically like when they're green, they're really hard to remove the skin. So I just cut off the butts and I just slice down here. I usually do like four. so weird because it just literally smells like a banana and I just like the first time I made them I was like so terrified of how it was gonna taste but get outside your comfort zone kids there's a lot of fun stuff on the outside of your comfort zone hi my camera's overheating and about to die <laughs> just letting you know I put some spinach in and I am cutting my plantains into like I put my spinach in like I didn't tell you I was gonna put in spinach. I just saute some spinach in that 
just like a little handful or whatever, just cause of health. And yeah, we cut the plantains about an inch thick. And that's all I'm gonna tell you for now cause I'm gonna charge my camera and let it cool off for a minute and then I'll be back. Hi, okay, we're ready to put the plantains on now. So let me show, what we, let me show you what we're doing. I have my fat in there. Heat it up, let's see. No. All right, it's kind of starting to sizzle, so I'm gonna put them in. This is how they're just looking now, just doing a little sizzle in there. And I don't know if you can see, like, oh yeah, see how it's starting to get kind of like yellow on the other side? Yeah, that's what we want. So I leave them like this, like maybe, it's really quick, like a minute or two, just till that side gets like that very like dark yellowy and it starts to get like a little toasty on the other side. Then I flip it, I just do the same thing on that side. And then I'll show you what I do when I pull them out. All right, this is how they're looking now. You can see they're a lot more yellow and toasty. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull them off. And I just have a paper towel right here. I basically just pop them on there to let them cool down. They do feel like weirdly hard and I remember the first time like doing this like I'm gonna have to smush these down like I feel like there's no way I'm gonna be able to smush them down but I promise you it's not that hard. Okay, I'm gonna close that again. They're not even out there! There's nobody even out there! Why are you barking? I'm filming! Here, okay. So basically I'm just gonna put this on parchment paper. So then we're just gonna take put it in between two parchment paper papers. Two parchment papers. Two parchment papers so it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna start smushing them. So I just take a wooden spoon. And basically, you see, that's what we want it to look like. Again, the first time I made this, I had a really hard time with this part. But you kind of learn how they crumble. And I get pieces like this all the time that just fall off, but it doesn't bother me at all. I just still do them like normal and everything comes out like totally fine. So I got all my little pancake plantains and I'm just heating the oil back up. I just leave it in there. And we are just going to throw these back in. And this part's a lot quicker. I just do like maybe not even a minute both sides just to kind of get the inside part that we kind of smushed out all nice and I don't know, cooked. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I do with the plantains when they're done. Um, I might, people might think this is like a little bit gross because they're like soaking in oil and I like don't put them on a paper towel or anything because when I do that and I put seasonings on them after, the seasonings don't stick and when the seasonings don't stick or I don't season them at all, they're just like super bland. Like. They're definitely something that needs a lot of seasoning. So, I take them straight out and put them in whatever device I am eating out of. Today, I told you we're having like a little Mexican bowl. So, I'm putting them into the bowl. So, I'm going to instantly put salt, obviously garlic, and then I just kind of shake it up to make sure they're all kind of coated with some flavor. And then I'm just gonna assemble the rest of my bowl. So, ground beef and put it on that. I'm sorry, my ground buffalo. And then I'm going to just take my little, uh, <laughs> my avocado sauce, my guacamole blend it up, and just, ooh, so aesthetic, oh my gosh. I love this, so let me just BRB slather this. Oh my god, Morgan, you're such a good cook. Look at it, so pretty. And yeah, this meal has like a lot of fat and a lot of protein and a lot of carbs. High calorie meal. No, it just, it is like super, everything's obviously super clean, super good ingredients, super yummy, so yummy, super yummy, so it's high fat, and which means it's just gonna be super filling, so. I've had so many meals, like especially like Mexican bowls that I have like rice and like ground turkey and like salsa and like no fat. And I have like literally three bowls. Like I will have this bowl and like it will be totally enough for me for dinner. So I wanted to come on here and 
talk about some desserts, but honestly, I don't know if I'm kind of, I'm just like really tired and I don't know that I'm going to even have dessert tonight. She says she doesn't want to have dessert, but then I have some of these. They're so good. Chocolate covered almond with sea salt. This brand, they make like just regular chocolate bars and they have more of like these hunks things, I think that I really want to try one day. A lot of them have ingredients that I'm not having right now, so these are like the only ones I can have, but like I'm okay with that because I'm in love with them. So, me, I said I don't want to have any dessert, and I just ate a bunch of chocolate covered almonds, but I don't even care. Mm. So yeah, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you like a little insight on this program that I'm doing, and I hope you see that like, oh yeah, like it's pretty easy, like it's not so bad. Is Joe home? Oh, I was filming. I was doing my outro. Hi. Oh! Oh, beavers! <laughs> I feel uncomfortable now. Love you. Love you. Oh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> go back out here. <laughs> yeah, just go back out to the garage. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of this video. Bye. <laughs>